Hello everybody, Javon Perra here. This is a message to you, Kaiser Permanente Educational Theater. Just a debrief of the training that we went through and want to give you some reminders to keep you on track and organized and less overwhelmed. I included a one sheet with this email and just wanted to remind you the, the five steps to get organized and less overwhelmed. And the purpose of this thing the purpose of this training is is to keep you focused on the thing that you should be doing right now and to be able to relax and let go of everything else because what you're doing right now is the most important and you got to have a system to put everything else in because your mind won't let it go and won't trust that you can let it go unless you have a reliable system so once again here's the reminder of how the system works the first one is stack it you want to stack everything in one place. So whether you use Evernote to have an inbox and put everything in there, whether you're using a physical inbox, whether you're using Trello to have a list of people uh, that people can email or put in virtually into your uh, inbox list or whether you're using your, your Gmail or your uh, whatever other email service, you want everything in one place so you can put it and process it into the other buckets. So everything in one place so that you know when there's something to do, you can go to that one place and, and put it there and have other people put it there so they don't have to bug you when they want to give you something to do. The second step is action it. And what you want to do is be able to put everything into next actions because you don't want to manage projects once again projects is anything with more than one action to it so action actioning it is about thinking what's the completion what's the end result that I want from this project this next to do okay once I have that in mind what's the very next action step that I need to take to move towards that. And remember, you don't want to have these steps any longer than 20 minutes because what will happen is it's easy to get distracted. It's easy to get interrupted. It's easy to say, well, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of this right now because this is such a big project that I'm working on. What you could do is put it into 20 minute chunks and push everything away until you're done with that 20 minutes. And then you, if you want to work on it longer than 20 minutes, you can just string together multiple 20 minute chunks you got three 20 minute chunks that's 60 minutes or an hour but you have little breaks in between even if it's just a momentary mental break or maybe making a few phone calls to catch people up that are freaking out because you're not available for 20 minutes so you want to get everything into the next action and then that's what you're going to manage you're not going to manage projects you're going to have all those projects and everything in their files or however you keep all the information for each of your project, but you're going to man manage the next action, which are this, those little chunks. After that, in the, the sheet that I'm sending you, and it's also in your workbook, you want to process these. And once again, you're going to process everything that you're doing into the buckets. So the next actions, while you're processing out everything out of your inbox into your various buckets so that you know where they are and what what it is before you even look at it because it's in that particular bucket. You want to, to process everything out of your inbox and if you could, while you're looking at it, if you could do the thing that you need to process in less than two minutes, well just do it right then. If it's a quick email, if it's a real quick phone call, it, you're, if you're just um, going to file something or whatever it would be less than two minutes, just do it right then because it takes about two minutes to process it anyway. The next thing in processing is you want to look at everything that you're waiting for and put that in a waiting for list, a waiting for bucket. And that way, when you're checking up on things that you can't do anything with, it's all in the same bucket. And at a glance, you know what you're waiting for. And you'll know, hey, do I need to send an email off for this to, to, so that they know I'm still waiting for it? Or do I need to make a quick call? But that stuff is stuff that you can't do anything about. Now, the next action list is really a key list here. Because the next action list is things that you could do. They're, they're, they're next actions. They're not projects. And they're in 20-minute chunks in here. But these are things that are going to take longer than two minutes. The last part in this processing part is the bucket. It really, it's your calendar. And remember, you only want to put things in your calendar that have a specific time, that have a specific day that you need to do it 
day and time or just particular day, I need to do it sometime today, or it's information that you need to know on that day. And what you want it to be in the end is a calendar that's sacred. You want to have no confusion. If it's on your calendar, you do it. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to determine, should I do this right now? Should I, should I do it later? You just do it as if your success depends on it, as if your sanity depends on it. And I'm telling you, a lot of this, it really does. Your sanity does depend on it. Your success does depend on it. Because we often can't control our success because that's a, such a big thing. That's a big project. That's a big end result that you want at the end of your life. What we can control is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's those little things because all those big things really they're, they're made up of all these little things that we do throughout the day that we think don't have any kind of consequence. But when you add up all those little things, it turns into a big thing. So it makes me think, maybe there are no big things. Maybe all these little things are the big things. So be faithful in these small things. And when you put it in your calendar, know when you see it again, you just do it. Just do it no matter what. So don't be putting all the next actions that don't have a specific day and a specific time or information that you need to know on that day. Don't put the other stuff on your calendar. What you want to do is every day, the first thing out, you get to work, you open up, not your email. <laughs> don't you do it. You open up your calendar. First thing. Say, hey, this is the stuff I have to do. I hold a calendar. I love my calendar. It keeps me on track. And then the next thing you want is open up your next action list, the things that you need to do no matter what. And you want to pick your top three for the day. Hey, what are the top three things that I need to do that are most important to me, that are going to accomplish my personal goals, and that are going to accomplish why I was hired? And get your top three goals and make sure you do them, and then keep on going back to that next action list. And then once in a while, revert and uh, check in on the things that you're waiting for in case you forget. And really, checking these lists, they'll probably only take you a couple minutes. And then it, that's reminded. You want to remind yourself on a daily basis what these things are, which is uh, check in the buckets. And then the last thing is do it. So you can, in the end, when you have a big next action list, you want to be able to to divide those uh, by context. I, I think it's the best way, and you could also divide it by importance. What's the first thing, no matter what, that I need to do? Because it's the most important, it's gonna give me the most uh, yield, it's gonna give me the most results that I want. And you could also do it by context, which is at my desk, at home, with my boss, with this person, these are things I need to do when I'm with them. So you can do it all at once and not forget. And in the end, you want to be able to clear these lists out. You want to clear your inbox out every day and be able to process it. You want to be able to, to remind yourself on a daily basis the things that are most important so that you do those things that are most important. Friday, you want to make sure everything in your list, everything in all your lists are put in the right spot and ready for you when you come back to work on Monday so you can actually relax and have a peaceful weekend. And if you use this consistently, what will happen is you'll be able to trust the system. You'll be able to trust that what I'm working on right now for the next 20 minutes is the most important thing that I should be working on. And if I just give myself to this for 20 minutes, then when I'm done, how much progress I have is, is going to be perfect. And I want to go back to my list. I want to go back to my calendar and see what's next. And if you do that, I'm telling you, the, the skill of Letting everything else go and working on just one thing at a time will increase your productivity by tenfold. It's going to be incredible if you can learn how to do this. So that's your little reminder for our training. I hope that was valuable. Again, Javon Para here. Let me know if, if you have any questions. You can email me, javon at javonpera.com. And it was a pleasure meeting all of you. I hope to see you all again in the future. And good luck being organized and unoverwhelmed, being at peace and in control with your life. Farewell.